time involved, so okay. we do recommend just leaving it running, like okay. starting it up in the morning and then turning it off at the end of the day. Okay. That's our recommendation. Okay. It's a computer and a reader, so on off, on off is not necessarily good. Right. I always recommend with these systems, very first time you come in, you check the line count. Okay. Again, not sure if you're familiar. To check the line count, if you hold this down okay. and you want your needle to point right there at the bottom of that shaded Got bead you. area. Okay. If you have to adjust it, it's this. You turn right for it to go up. Like for example, if your line comp was low, you see how it's not yep. aiming? Yep. You would turn it here to get okay. it to line up perfectly. Okay. Just a good thing to do, because if it gets too far off, you actually, the machine won't even shoot an x-ray. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you're like halfway to prep it. You hear the click, it's ready. Yep. John, are you out of the way? Then hold it all the way yeah. through till the beep is over. Okay. Because if you let off, you actually turn terminate your exposure early. Your film could be possibly be light. Gotcha. That really doesn't come into play when you're shooting a one twenty fourth of a second yeah. X-ray. But when you <laughs> right. get into a half or three quarters, it could, in theory, terminate and give you light films. Okay. Green light. You turn the computer on. Right there, that little button, and then you hit this button. This, this system will boot up into its own thing. That will initialize, do its thing, and then this will boot up into uh, okay. where it needs to go. Or like we add the patient. Listen to this network work list. Don't okay. worry about it. You're just going to go to the registration. Okay. It is touch screen as well. So, nice. yeah, we'll register patient ID. You can register on the show real quick. Let's put like uh, 001. Mm -hmm. You just put test patient. And then, and, uh, yep, test. And you put patient's name, test patient. Usually goes uh, last name, then space, first, then date of birth. First, yeah. Date of birth, Date of birth follows a period format. Oh. I know it's kind of weird. So, will let me do it like that? No. Oh, I'm that's, yelling that you. Is weird. It is. Okay. Like. Requesting department, we'll, we can put in, this is any provider that would call for an x-ray. Okay. Yeah. I can show you how to change these as well. That's okay. You just put urgent care. Okay. Actually, you gotta, they gotta be pre-determined. Oh, one of these? Oh. Pre-determined. Yeah. So you can do, um, we have ortho? like uh, ortho. Yeah, just. Yeah, that's fine. And then technologist is whoever is taking the x-ray. Yep. Cool. Again, these don't carry any weight, but. And the uh, study comment is for. Like uh, what we're for what kind of x-rays we're doing? Study comment is any, people use that for like the reason it, the exam is taken, okay. like fall off ladder or. Yeah. Put fall off ladder. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to, because these might not translate to one packs. They may or may not. It's I think one packs we had additional ones, but just to yeah. make sure and put next, I believe. Yeah, go to next. And then this is where you okay. select the views you're doing. Preferably in the order you're doing. We'll do, it. we'll do like lower extremity and we'll do like a foot. foot. Yep. Cool. Start Perfect. studying. Well, this is easy. Okay. Yeah, and then now we're ready to shoot onto our cassettes. Shoot. It's real low. Good. Again, halfway to prep. Hold it till the beep is over. Sure, it tells you everything you need to know here. See how you see? Oh, it's the hinges. Yeah. The 10 by 12s are all the way over. The 14 by 17 obviously would take up the whole thing. Okay. I recommend being gentle with this. Just, just kind of seeing it through. Don't. I've seen people slam it. It's oh. not good. They've broken cassettes and stuff, and they bounce, and weird things happen. At this point, you'll see a little preview as it's going. It's scanning it. Okay, so you can't remove this yet. It's erasing that plate, and then once it's done, it'll be ready for another use. Do we have to use the same cassette for all the x-rays, or can we go to another one? It has you to be the just, same one. You would go to the next one. Let's next say one, you're okay. doing another foot view. You yeah. wouldn't sit here watching Wait, this. Okay. You'd use your next okay. one here. Okay. Hinge side up. Okay. 
or out. We don't want to store it on the hinge. That's the moving part, so we don't want to break it. Um, from here, let's say we called this a foot, but it was actually a lateral foot. This is an AP. Okay. You can change here, and then it goes back to this little, and then okay. you can select what it's supposed to be, and it'll change it. Um, let's say this x-ray is so bad we don't want it. Yeah. The x here will reject it. Okay. It'll put an x there. It will not go to one packs. Okay. But then it puts the menu in next so you can scan again. Okay. Which we'll do. I'm just going to scan a blank one. I wanted to start over on one just to show you a couple different things. Yeah. At this point, it would send to one packs automatically. Okay. Done. Oh. Done? Yeah. It would go in the output queue here. Obviously, it's not set up yet. So I'm just going to register. Most exams, I saw you, you just put in the one. Um, most exams, like, uh, you would do like a two view angle. You want to put in all the views you're going to do on this here. So let's say oh, you're Oh, right. okay, so we got to add yeah. it, I got you. Okay. Yeah, before you start your study. Okay. That way, it, and the one that's in teal here is the yeah. one that the system is calling for. Okay. So if you do, Let's say you're doing a foot and an ankle. If you run your foot on the ankle, again, you'd have to change it here. But, and it's ideal to do it in the order that you shoot them. That way, this keeps progressing down. 